This is Justin Keller. I'm in Professor Collins' biomechanics class, and today we're going to go over the motions and movements of the human body. We'll start off with some definitions. First one is rotation, and rotation is a movement around an axis, either medial or lateral. Extension is a straightening movement where the relative angle between two segments increases. Flexion a bending movement where the relative angle between two segments decreases. Abduction, a movement away from the midline. Adduction, a movement towards the midline. Supination, a movement where the back or dorsal surface rotates upward. Pronation, a movement where the front or ventral surface rotates downward. Circumduction, a movement that is a combination of flexion, adduction, extension, and abduction. Elevation, the heightening movement of a body part. Depression, the lowering movement of a body part. So now what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate these. Um, we'll start off with anatomical position, which is right here. Um, we'll kind of go from the head and work our way down. So with the neck, we have neck flexion, which is this. We also have neck extension, which is this. Last of all, we have neck rotation, which is that. Next, we'll move on to the shoulders. We have shoulder elevation, shoulder depression. We have shoulder abduction, and we have shoulder adduction. We have shoulder flexion and shoulder extension. And then the last one is shoulder circumflexion. Then we'll move out to the wrist and the arms. For the wrist, we have flexion and extension. For the arm, we have flexion, we have extension. We also have supination pronation. Focuses on the hands. Supination, pronation. And then we'll, we'll get up close with the fingers and then we'll go abduction, adduction. Abduction, adduction. Move our way down. We've got the trunk midsection. First one is flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. And of course the same thing with the neck, we have rotation. Then we move to our hips. Hips, we have flexion and extension. Flexion and extension. We also have abduction, adduction. Abduction, adduction. And the last one for the hips, circumduction. Okay, let me move on to the knee. The knee only has two. Basically, there's flexion of the knee, extension of the knee. Flexion, extension. Now we'll move down to the ankle. Finally, we have plantar flexion. Dorsal flexion. Plantar dorsi. And then the last two, we have inversion and then eversion. So that pretty much wraps it up. Those are the movements from head to toe of the human body. Hope you enjoyed.